What's up guys, your Apple Helper here. Today I've got a video for you how to jailbreak your iPhone 3G and iPod 2G on the latest 4.0.1 firmware. So as you can see there I am running the 4.0.1 and today I'm going to be jailbreaking. So what you're going to need to jailbreak this is you're going to need the latest version of iTunes which is iTunes 9.2. You're also going to need Red Snow as well as the current 4.0.1 firmware. All the links to the downloads will be in the description. Now, as I said, this will jailbreak your iPhone 3G and iPod Touch second generation. If you are on the 3GS, I do recommend staying on 3.1.2 firmware and wait for a little while until there is a full 4.0.1 jailbreak available for you. So now that I'm done with all that talking, let's get on to the jailbreak. What you're going to need to do is power off your device. and plug it into your computer. Once your device is both powered off and plugged into the computer, open up the Red Snow WinRAR file and click right here on where it says Red Snow WinRAR. I'll let me just zoom in for you. It will look just like that. So click on that and open it up, and then go to the second one, it will look like this, redsnow.exe, and click on that. So let's just open that up. And as you can see there, you have your loading screen. Now once you see this screen right here, click Browse, find the firmware, which I have on my desktop here, and double click on it. Then be prepared to use your, de your device. As you can see it is successfully identified the firmware. At the bottom here you've got next. Get ready. All What you'll have to do is hold your power button for 10 seconds or 3 seconds. It will patch your kernel. Now you're going to install your Cydia. Your, you will enable multitasking going to enable home screen wallpaper and also enable your battery percentage. You do have the option to enable your verse boot logo, custom boot logo and custom recovery logo. If you do have those, you can tick them and get that all set up. So now let's go next. And this is at this point you will need to make sure your device is both plugged in, plugged in and turned off. And next, hold down the power button for 3 for 2 seconds or 3 seconds. Now hold down both. Five, four, three, two, one. Release the power button and continue holding the home button for about 30 seconds. And as you're going to see on my screen in a few seconds here, something will pop up. Now I do recommend holding this button until you do see the picture that you are about to see. So as you can see, I'm still holding it even though the background has changed. I'm still holding it. Continue holding it. At this time, you can release the home button. As you will see, it says downloading jailbreak data. And in the background there, it is jailbreaking it for you. So once it is all finished jailbreaking, I'll be back to show you the final product. As you can see here, the device is jailbreaking. You got that cool little pineapple guy running across the screen. Now this should take around five to ten minutes, maybe a little bit less. But don't so don't worry if it is stuck on one spot for a little while. Once it has completed the jailbreak process, it will reboot your device, and I'll be right back when that is done. So my jailbreak has just completed, and my device is rebooting. So now the jailbreak has been completed, and the iPhone has restarted. And if you scroll around there, you will see Cydia. Now for some of you, Cydia may just be a white icon. And if that is the problem, please make sure to check out the source in the description down below. Add that source in your Cydia and it will change everything. Now for proof that I am running on the 4.0.1, I'm going to Settings. General. And about there.
And you can see there that I'm still running on 4.0.1. So there you guys go. There's the jailbreak for 4.0.1, 3G, iPhone 3G, and iPod Touch second generation. If you enjoyed this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. And make sure to check back for future jailbreak videos. Thanks.